Hello, Gary Champion, Psychic Medium, once more, early morning, a little video. And uh, this one occurs because I just had a thought this morning. I'm sitting around and I'm on the internet and I'm looking at these guys that are running for office. I'm looking at these tired white guys, old, old. Neither one of them should be president. They should be in their mid thirties, early forties, 45, 50, run for office. Why? They've got the energy to do it. And they're young enough that they're in step with what's going on in the country. Why do we see these guys year after year, after year, after decade, after decade, get elected that are Fossils, that's a being kind. I mean, they're a bag of bones walking around. Close to dementia, way past retirement. Why do we see these guys running for office? Because that's who the party wants. That's who the party believes they can control and get to do what they want them to do. Young people, this, uh, these, a couple of these young senators that have run and won their seats. I don't like them at all because they ask questions. Why are we doing this? What's going on here? What's this about? And the, this uh, Acacia, whatever her name is, people, uh, other senators accost her in the hallway and start calling her horrible names. They've gotten away with it for 100 years, 200 years, however long, and no one stopped them. Well, she started printing it. She started accusing me in the press of saying these things. And they, oh, me, I, I didn't say that. Or if they're dead caught on camera, they apologize and they just go on their, about their way. Apology's not good enough. You intended to say it, you hunted her out, you tracked her down in the halls of Congress, and you said this nasty thing to her. Is it Lindsey Graham? Is that the guy that said that women, uh, should be allowed to vote and run for office unless they, let me look that one up, I'll be back. I'm back, and Lindsey Graham says that women should be banned unless they follow what the men say. <laughs> what the men folks say, they gotta take their thing or they should be banned from Anything, I mean, uh, as long as you're against abortion, he's okay with it. Why is this guy still walking around? Why has he got a pulpit to beat up on women with? I don't know if he's winning his race or not. Probably will. You got to think, if just the women in his district voted against him, he, he wouldn't win. Is it that women like this stuff too? They like being beat up and called names and hounded for their beliefs? They have a right to be women and run for office if they think like I do? Where did this guy get the right to say that? But that's why we have these old guys in office. You look, the faces of the people in Congress and House of Representatives are ancient. There's like three really young ones and they're rebel rousers and they're out there trying to pass laws and do, do and actually do things because they're of the generation they're trying to help. These old guys are so far past the generation, they, they're still living in that 1940, 1950 mindset. You know, woman's place is in the home. And that's what they bring to the table. Same old sad crap. And by the time they die, because you know they're going to die in office, they're not, or they'll get so sick they'll have to give up their seat. The guys that are replacing them, like 10 years younger than them, so they're in the same mindset. Can we not cut some kind of a thing here where if you're over 50, you can't run for an office? and you can only serve two terms and you're out. 
people, then only people who really wanted change, wanted to fix some of these problems, would be allowed into office. Instead, they drag up these tired old things. Their platform is so tired and so old. It's been around for 50 years. Change something. Do something. Actually benefit the people you're supposed to represent, not the old guard with the money that's paying you to vote the way they want you to vote. It's just sheer bribery or blackmail or something. You vote the way we tell you to because we pay you the money that keeps you in office. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir, Mr. Old Guy with Money. And they're in lockstep with these guys. Why? Because they're on the gravy train, like I've said before. Why are any of these people running for office? If you're over 50, you're, you're, your constituency is old. If, we're, if we want to have a young country, we've got to have young representation. I'm an old guy. I love it when these, these three girls got elected and they're all feisty and changing things. And, and, they, and they don't take it. These old guys corner them in the hallway and call them something ugly, and they just bounce right back at them and start shouting at them. Did you hear what this guy said to me? And then they go on the press, and they just hate that. You're telling about that? How could you tell about that? It comes from the top. Oh, you're reporting that I raped you 30 years ago? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? What is that about? Oh, she just wants money. No, she'd like a little retribution, a little honesty, and she'd like for you to apologize. I don't think these women want money. They want an apology. Some of them have taken money, but um, they figure they're not going to get any justice. Might as well have the money. Can't blame them for that. I'm not going to anyway. Why would you report that I did this? All these old guys can't understand that. Man, that happened 30 years ago. Well, to them, it's just like it happened yesterday. They're living a life where they think about it all the time. You're living a life of, oh, uh, that didn't happen. Or if, you, or if they have evidence, uh, that wasn't me. In the case of this one woman, she's got DNA, his DNA, on a dress, and that's going to wind through the courts, and he'll end up in a bad way. He could conceivably send him to jail, certainly embarrass him like that, like that matters to him. We need young representation and some of you out there who are watching this video probably qualify. Apparently, you don't have to be a lawyer. You used to, you, if you ran for office, you had to be a lawyer. You just didn't understand the ins and outs. Now, these people don't care. They just want what they want. They can hire lawyers to get the legality of it after they've screwed it up. We need young people deciding we're not an old country. We're only a couple of hundred years old. Far as um, I don't know, three or four hundred years old. It's held European nations are a thousand years old. The Indian nations here, they're a thousand years old or older, as old as time. Anastasi in uh, Arizona and southern Texas, this, this southwest area, they've been around for ever and ever and ever. But as far as you know, having a definable uh, system of um, laws and things like that. It's late, teen, late 1700s. So it's only a couple of years we've been defined as a nation with laws. We need young blood. It's a funny thing. Uh, uh, John F. Kennedy was elected president. And things got done. We did things the old guys had never thought of. Oh, we don't want to do that. Yeah, we went to the moon and back. We proved we could do it. We invented technologies, computers. All this stuff was invented here. It, it's being made in other countries, but it was invented here. 
We need young people to start that again. Young ideas, highest priority should have been the, the coronavirus. That should have been the highest priority of a president, of, of Congress, of anything. What they did? We don't know about that. Is that real? I don't think so. Uh, well, all these thousands of people have died, and it's been confirmed that coronavirus is good. I don't think so. Well, we don't want to sound the alarm. We don't want to do that. Then we have to put money in it, and we have to back it, and we have to... We, we found that hard to control, we, you know. Then we got a bunch of those Fauci guys, and they just speak their mind. You know, if I could fire him, I would. You see what I mean? Think like me. It goes back to what I was talking about earlier, that if you, if you think like us, you're in. If you, don't, if you don't think and do like what we do, then you're not. Now, I'm going to say this is not unusual. It's clannish. Hell, it's even cultish. You know, people don't hang around other, drinkers don't hang around other drinkers. They don't want to be around somebody sober. It's just a minor thing, but, but you hang with the people you feel comfortable with. Eating lunch in junior high and high school, the groups are clearly defined. These people weren't over here. I can't be with those guys. I've got to be with my guys. I don't trust them because they're not like me. That's what this is all about. Trust. We can't trust you. We don't feel comfortable around them. We don't trust them because they're not like us. So you got a whole room full of old white guys and a few women that perpetuate this thing. Let's, he's electable. Let's get him. He thinks like us. He's one of us. We've got that secret handshake. You know, we can get him elected, and he thinks like us, so he can perpetuate all these things that, that we want. Good old boys club. That's as good a name for it as you can get. If people think that's a myth. It's not. Good old boys like to hang with good old boys. I'm sure bank robbers spend all their time hanging around with those kind of people. You've got to break this up, folks. We got a very few young people running for office. And these young girls, they went in there and proved they could do it and change things, but it's not enough. Because in four years, you're going to see these same old, crusty, old, tired, 80-year-old men running for, I've got to keep that power. I want to lose control of the country. Can't let young people decide anything. Why? Because that's the way we are. Somebody out there put some young people up for office. I'm old, but... Someone half my age. I don't care if they're 30, 40, 50, but not beyond that. And I don't want to be the arbiter of good taste here, but somebody's got to be. Somebody needs to say it. We're tired of these old, crusty guys that were born in the turn of the century, that that's their idea of the world. Not progressive think tanks, computers. And I can barely get any of my stuff to work. Not like me. We need to be leaping and bounding. And young people don't have a problem with that because they don't have a problem with change. That's what we're talking about. Old people, I, don't know, I like my soul bathrobe. I want to wear this old bathrobe till I die. I want to be buried in this old bathrobe. Young people don't. It's, it's, I know clothing is a minor little thing, but it's the same thing. It's exactly identical. I'm going to wear these. You know, they stopped making my favorite shoes, so I'm just going to wear these till they. We need young people with progressive, interesting thinking ideas that, that get thrown into the mix just to even be considered. These things don't even get to the high, they don't get to the floor. They don't even discuss them. They're not bills. And then when they do, they get squashed by the, the old guard. We can't have that. We can't have women thinking for themselves. Holy moly. What would that? Whew. Got news for you guys. Women already think for themselves. You just aren't aware of it because you're an old, crusty, old white guy. Or black or whatever color you are. You're old. Get out of the way. Let somebody else take the wheel. 
you've screwed it up enough this time. And if we don't get these young guys in there, we'll be seeing these same, the faces change slightly, but they're just old white guys. The skin and hair problems that photograph badly. They don't have the energy for the job. Sorry, I've droned on. Yeah, not very sorry. A little bit sorry. Not, not very sorry. No fear, no regret, no anger. Thanks for watching.